Yes, big sexy in the building. The hood hottest princess. What's up? What's going on? Uh, well, first of all, congratulations. You've had uh, quite the uh, last few months with Pound Town going absolutely crazy. Thank you. It is, uh, it is a moment. It is, for uh, real. It is. It reminds me. I don't even know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like some two live crew shit back in the day. Or like, <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm glad you compared it to that. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's a pretty crazy record. Yeah, people were saying Freak Neek and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, well, how though? I don't understand. Um, I don't know. Wretched. I don't know. Uh, for you, uh, give me kind of like a little bit of your like uh, backstory. Like, like how, first of all, how long you been rapping? Um, I've been rapping for like four years now. It's probably finna be four years. So kind of like long. right before the pandemic started, you, you yes, were... yes, 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 right before, and then that's when motherfuckers was stuck in the house, and I just was making songs. And you were making songs. Um, what, what, like, how'd you grow up? What were you doing before music? Before music, I was doing her. I used to be just selling shit. Like when I was young, I was a little hustler. I'd sell some candy, anything I could sell. But the last thing I was doing before I became famous or whatever was I was a hairstylist. So you were selling people's hair around St. Louis? No, I was doing everybody hair. Like, everybody hair. I was the hood hottest hairstylist. Okay. So everybody would come to you to get their shit right? Everybody knew. I was like for real, like I was the one that did the hair the right way. Like uh, now, my friends be calling me like, "Man, I wish you still do her. Don't nobody do her like you." Like all my old clients, they still wish I did her. I was like, "Nope." Now, you, so how do you get your hairstylist? If you're a hairstylist, you gotta like have a real. Uh -uh. You do your own shit. Yeah, I do my own hair. Oh, that's fair. But sometimes when I have to get my hair done and I just don't got time and they like sexy. You can't do your hair. You can't do everything. We gotta get somebody to do your hair. Then I just be like, "All right, find me somebody." You, know? uh, you have a ton of tattoos. Yeah. Uh, you you have your whole situation situated over there too. Yeah. <laughs> How painful was that? Uh, it it didn't even hurt. Like I I used to like pain when I was young. I got them, uh, a lot of these when I was young. Okay. What was the most painful tattoo you have? My chest or my neck. The neck. And the butt hurt too. Cause it's like it make you clench your ass. Like, right. Like you. It's like you getting stabbed in the butt. <laughs> Oh, when I say that hurt the whole time, I was just clenching my ass cheeks like. Oh, uh, and this is new, the sexy on the. Yeah, I just got that on the. Uh, where was we? We was in Memphis, a little Memphis trip. You say, you know what? Let me get another face tat. I love it. I love face tattoos. Um. Yeah, you've kind of like. A, a, you don't look like you got nothing for real. I do. You do. I got. Well, I got my wife's name right here. Okay, that's cute. My friend just got her baby daddy name on her finger. And then I, I got, I got stuff under my shirt. Oh, you do. I got my back done. Damn, you do. Yeah, I, I got to see your back because I love back tattoos. Do you? Yes, I want my back hold. My whole. It hurts. Tattoo. I know. The back hurts for sure. I'm a numb it. 